Yeah. The, the point about all this is that it's much worse than you think. The, the real uh, exposures to people um, started with the weapons, with the nuclear weapons testing. And that caused an increase in cancer of at least 30% in most countries. And we can show that this is a, a value of about 60 million people who, who will have caught, developed cancer as a result of this. The fertility in the world is reducing. The levels of congenital malformation are increasing. And uh, Madame Vivassi says that we should do all these things to, um, to try and stop this from happening because we have a critical situation for life on Earth. There is no question. But the, we're not, we cannot expect these people who we are talking about, the WHO and the IAEA and the Article 35 group and all of these people in power, we cannot expect them to do something because we ask them to. There seems to be an absolute glass barrier between what the people want and what gets done. It, it's an impossible situation because we are living through the worst public health scandal of history of the history of life on this earth. And yet nothing seems to be possible to do. Well, let me make some suggestions. I'm going to talk soon, and I won't go on and hold the microphone, so then. But what I do say is this, that there are two things that are needed, absolutely, essentially. And one, one is that there has to be funding for independent research, because there is no independent research. And the people who are independent researchers, like my colleague Yuri Bandashevsky, like me, like the other people who work, and there are very few of these people, they work for virtually nothing. And it gets very difficult to function. They cannot me obtain equipment. They cannot, cannot measure things. And it is a, on these people that the future of this planet and life on it, survive, survival on it, depends. And they do not have funding to, to get younger people, to teach these younger people how to do the studies that are necessary to do, because we are all getting old, you know, and we can't, we're not going to live forever, and maybe we'll just get bored with it all and go fishing. But I have to say that something has to be done along those lines. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing that we can do is we can use the law. Now, I, as an expert witness, I've won maybe more than 20 cases in, in, in seriously big cases, millions and millions of dollars of damages I've won using the ECRR risk model and using the arguments that we've heard here today. But these, these court cases never get out into the media because they're always settled. As soon as the companies know, or the nuclear industry know that they're going to lose, they settle the case by writing a big fat check. But we can take court cases through, through human rights um, legislation, through international human rights legislation, and through the legislation that's implicit in URATA. And when I give a talk later, I'm just taking a bit of time, I will talk about that some more. But I have to impress upon you, it is extremely serious. It is not, it's not something that we can afford to ignore. Thank you. Morning, everybody. As soon as we had such a strange morning, we might have to start streaming back at livestream.com and then post here in high quality after. I'm streaming right now, right? Hopefully. Not 20 minutes, but streaming. Just double check, make sure I'm actually streaming. Let's hear some comments from people. Any questions for anybody? Let's take some questions. Okay, we're streaming. Let's switch gears and take some questions this morning. I'll bring up the other camera. It's not look too weird. Hey, everybody. That guy right there. Hi, Shani again, Elaine, and Shani, and Albert, and Sylvia, Miss Milky the Clown, Jan Brooks, one, Miss Milky the Clown, one, Nolan, from Flatlands, some static in the audio, I bet, 
Yeah, I gotta do a bunch of work, I guess. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Orville. Fender. What are the rads level here this morning? Hang on. <coughs> it's slack this morning. Pretty cool, man, to be able to get up and do the things I'm doing lately. This last year, I guess. Just standing off is such a treat. Let's turn it on. Yoink! Counts per minute. Let's let that warm up for a few minutes. Let's let it warm up till it starts beeping anyway, till we hear an audible beep. And we'll get that for Elaine in a minute. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Bill from India. Right, oh, I got you. So, anybody got any questions for the nuclear proctologist.org? There we go, we got a little beep. We got, I don't know, let's see what it shows on the screen there. 141, I can't see. 141, 32, 132, 97. Atta boy, get down there, go lower. I like the low numbers. Anything under 100 makes me feel better. <laughs> Am I getting that right? I'm looking at it on the other screen. 132. Hey, Sylvia. 140. 150. We're taking questions. We changed gears this morning because we had to pull the stream. We're streaming. So it's the morning of the 17th of May, 2016. Oh, that's a better number, not 79 or something, is it? I am thirst, 114.83. We're all over the place. 97. We're all over the place. We'll keep an eye on that. 90, 114. So we're looking for any questions. Bring them on. Anything you want. Nail it. Yours is 46, Elaine, in California. Lucky you. 150. I'm on right now. So Germany says five is abandon the food and 55 is an evacuation zone, a man-made. And Pam and Amthurst and Albert, hi everybody, made it back. Jan lent hers out, she can't give us a reading. Hats off to the hound from Nolan. Florida, not California. Did I say California? Can't tell me anything. California was the old stopping grounds. Thumbs up for Dana. Yeah, we just decided to do a little live stream. Because we had so many problems with the live stream this morning already. It looked like the health is good now, but you're only streaming in 360. So we're streaming in 360. I'm recording in 1080, very, very high quality 1080. And it's really you gotta watch what you're saying on my screen when I'm put uh, when I'm up on the website like this. Right, this is what they want someone to put names there and then come and arrest me for it. People got to stop doing that to me. No offense to people who don't understand or don't know any better, but it's going to get me in trouble doing that during the live stream when I got no control. That's what I'm terrified of people are going to do to me, and I beg people not to do that to me. Because that's what the industry is liable to do to you, too, on top of that, right? 
terrified to scroll down and read any comments. We're supposed to be taking comments. But you know I can't talk about certain things. I can't say certain names. You know it's on the screen right in front of me as I'm talking and you poke it up in front of me. Whether it's true or not, I, I can't even go back and look at it now. I can't even defend myself. I can't even mention the names of people that had me arrested from the University of Victoria and Woods Hole Oceanographic. Under threat that I'll go to jail for talking about lying scum, murderers. I can't mention the name of fucking mass murderers. And if I do, I go to jail. I'm breaking my probation. Why are fucking people putting it up on my goddamn page when the fucking comments are right there in front of me? Not yelling at you. I'm just saying I'm fucking frustrated. I go to battle every fucking day. All day long. Put myself right out on that fucking front line all day long. I take the beating, the humiliation, the degradation, the threats, the, the absolute humility, the endless fucking attacks. I can't even ask questions online because people are going to get me fucking arrested. Man. Enough to make you fucking cry here this morning. Oh, Dan, it's okay. It's just... It's over there. It's never going to come over here, Dana. Jet streams are not real, Dana. Ocean currents are not fucking real, Dana. Models don't mean nothing, Dana. Tefco said it looks like that on the inside, Dana. Seth Dorn says it looks like that on the inside, Dana. Forget that that's the official picture. Forget that's the official picture. Forget that's the official, the official picture. Forget they had to bring in that fucking biggest thing on the planet. Forget all of it. Forget all of it. Don't worry about it. Set door and said it looks hunky dory. Go back to sleep and shut your fucking pie holes. Tevco came out a, a month ago. A month ago. And uh, of course, my diet stays the right. right there he is. He's showing that at the press club in Washington. But Dana's a fucking demon because Dana says it actually looks like that. Now, if it looked like that, it would be a problem, but it doesn't. According to the experts, it survived. And who the fuck is going to lie? Who's going to say TEPCO and CBS said Dorn? Why, why not call him, a, why call him a lawyer when they're a lawyer? Why allow them to get up on TV and put that out there when it's an outrageous fucking lie? Where, where's all the fucking police? Where's all the justice system? Where's all the fucking pro-nuclear saying, hey, wait a second, it actually doesn't look like that. Looks like that. Maybe, just maybe, Tefco's fucking lying. It's okay for Tefco to lie. It's okay for Seth Dorn to lie. It's okay for Miles O'Brien to lie. It's okay for the press club. The fucking press club. You're a wonderful press club. It's okay for the press club to come out and lie and lie and lie and lie. This is one month ago. Look at them all there. Ha ha ha. Miles O'Brien, Ted Go, all the nuclear puke machines. No one to call him out. No media to hold him accountable. Unconjure. Just media to prop him up. Media him to hold him up to a fucking higher. And say, hey, wait now. These are experts. These are professionals. These are the best of the best. Yeah, but they're all lying. Blatant, blatant outrageous, demented, sickening, out of control. Harm, very harmful lies, endless fucking lies, right there at the press club, and the press is sitting right there in the audience, with fucking Miles O'Brien is there too. We know Miles O'Brien is right there, got a chest x-ray, Seth Dorn, 
You got all these fucking models. The Billings look like that. But Dana's a bad fucking person. I got done my fucking hair now. Pull my glasses off now. I got a cow's lick on the side of my head. Can't even go read the comment section now because people won't fucking stop putting stupid fucking names there that are going to get me arrested while he's on the fucking screen. What well, part about that is that people can't wrap their friggin' minds around. That's not fucking fair. I can't come out and defend myself, but those can come out and demonize me. How the fuck did we end up down this road this morning? Oh, I know, I wanted to take questions in the comment section. 193! How's your fucking day going? Probably can't even see it now. 167. Doesn't look very good on the screen there. It was 200 when I grabbed it that time. I just thought that'd be fun. I'm not yelling at anybody in particular. I'm not yelling at Miss Frill or anybody else. I'm just saying, why the fuck is people doing that? What part about that is they can't wrap their mind around? You enough to make you want to give up. Not that I'm going to give up, but it's enough to make you fucking give up. Ernie Gunnison is out there raising millions of fucking dollars. Helen Calicott is raising multi millions of fucking dollars. Dana can't raise fuck all. No, no, go out and do the whole coastline. You're going to hear Arnie Gunnison talk about Dana Durnford's expedition for life? Fucking no! You're going to hear Calicott talking about Dana Durnford's and the Fukushima Hounds expedition for life? Not a fucking chance! You're going to hear Busby talking about it? You might. You're going to hear the fucking experts talking about how Dana went out and showed there's an extinction event? No! You're going to hear the experts coming out and telling you that it's okay? Yeah? You're going to hear the experts coming out and telling you that Fuka, fucking Fukushima looks like that? Instead of saying, hey, wait a second, it looks like that, it doesn't look like that. How fucking hard is that to do? How hard is it to do? Not very hard, I've just done it for you. They can't have done it because they come out and told you the law originally. And then they look, and then not only look like law, lawyers, you go back and revisit everything they were fucking saying, and you find out how they need no better. The dirty experts, they built the fucking fuel pools. But it looks like that, Dana. And your trip don't mean nothing, Dana. You show an extinction event throughout the entire coastline on the expedition for life, the nuclear proctologist, means nothing. It means nothing. Dana, you're not a nuclear scientist. Yeah, they lie, but they're nuclear scientists, so we got to support them. we got to put them up on a pedestal. No one's allowed to call them out. What fucking planet am I on? What reality am I living in? What kind of fucking world have I walked into when I can't call a lawyer a lawyer? And nobody else can. And they can't come out and talk about the truth. They can only come out and tell you parts of the truth. Well, I'm worried about Fukushima. Oh, Jesus, you know, human four tips over. It was all gone. They knew that on the 18th. Calicott knew it. Gunnarsson knew it. Busby fucking knew it. David Suzuki all knew it. They're the people we're supposed to turn to. They all fucking knew it was gone. Great, Dan has gone off into a screaming rant. 140 counts, 147 counts a minute. No one gives a fuck. Someone gets 35 counts a minute, nose everywhere. And you see the comment section, oh, well, that's normal background radiation. And scientists say it could be plastic plates and plastic spoons in the, in the ocean. Causing the elevated levels. What scientist? What is your fucking name? Oh, global warming. Scientists say it's probably global warming. What's your fucking name? Well, we don't need to give you a name. We're the media. We're above you. We're above reproach. That's this whole fucking nuclear. Everything nuclear is stupid. Everybody involved in pro nuclear is a fucking murdering idiot. Is a useless sack of shit on this planet. There's a fucking burden 
to everything in their family. Everybody nuclear are the worst things imaginable. Nuclear makes you stupider by the second. If you're pro nuke, you're a fucking scum. You will be hung from a fucking tree by the mobs in the future when they find out what you're fucking done. I'll be enjoying it. It'll be all over your tub. Spend all day surfing and hanging out the nuclear puke machines. Pissed fucking off this morning. Can't even stream at 480 now. Down to a fucking 360. Whatever good that's going to be. Who the fuck is going to be able to read anything with a 360? Where's all the bandwidth going? Why is it getting yanked all the time? <coughs> you know. No, no, Dana. It's okay, Dana. Call him. Call it God and Ernie Gullers. Are you going to do some good, Dana? You can't do good if you're not going to tell the truth. If you tell a single fucking lie, and they know it's a lie, and they keep telling that lie, that's a fucking liar! Let me put my warning out there right now to the Helen Calicott and the fucking Ernie Gunnarsons and the rest of these creatures, David Suzuki's on, these planet, on this planet. You've got a short fucking time frame. A very short time frame to come out and be honest. You've got a very short fucking time frame. Because I'm going to campaign against you. I'm going to come and take you apart. I'm going to download everything you fucking got. I'm going to rip your lives apart. Whatever good you've done is mitigated by the fucking harm you've done. It's just no different than no matter what benefits the nuclear power plants might have to Japan. It's all mitigated by Fukushima. No different than Chernobyl. 54 reactors down there. Chernobyl happened. You'll never get out of the hole you created from Chernobyl with the other plants. That one fucking accident destroyed the entire history of nuclear. Any benefit it might have ever played. Not that it played any benefit. I'm tired of this though. I'm tired. I'm tired of being nice. I'm tired of being Mr. Fucking Politically Correct. I'm tired of ignoring the lawyers and letting them get away with it. I'm fucking declaring war on anybody. Anybody. That I think is fucking stopping this movement from succeeding. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'll bash you every goddamn day from here on out. You tell the truth. You put the fucking truth out there. I catch you out there with fucking lies. I don't give a fuck if it's fucking CBC or ABC or anybody else. We're coming after you. We're going to expose you for what you're doing. We're going to get in your fucking face. In the near future, I'll be drowned out by millions of people trying to hang you in the fucking street when they see you. Not because of anything I said. Not because of anything anybody's doing right now, but because of the very fact we got an extinction event playing out on the ocean. You can't hide it for another year. It can't be done. You can't hide this for another year. If you do, it's bye bye planet. If you pull it off, it's bye bye planet. Only option we got is to go to battle, just like we did at Chernobyl. We gotta go to battle against Fukushima. They're burning it in the incinerators. These are dirty bombs. Stop fucking doing it. Just because you can get away with it now, don't mean you're going to get away with it in the near future. Don't mean you got car blanche to go out and wreck this fucking planet in that couple of years span before everybody wakes up and finds out what you've done. Those hundred people that are out there saying radiation in the United Nations and Unsclare and Irpa and all the rest of these atomic energy agencies that are saying it's like a banana and a potato chip. Your fucking day is coming. Your time. You can kill me right now. It don't matter. You can kill everybody here right now. It don't matter. Your day is coming real fast. This planet's going to wake up and they're going to clue in and they're going to go looking for revenge. They're going to go looking for their own form of fucking justice. Because justice does not exist in the system we got. That's why they arrested me. That's why a judge said we can't use bananas and potato chips to show these people are fucking lawyers. They're fucking disgusting. Can't even answer questions today. Fucking throw something through the wall today. Just fucking make me sick. My guts.
They work like fucking dogs. They work like fucking dogs. We work endlessly. We sacrifice endlessly for a little tiny bit of truth is all we ask. So we can have someone we can support. We got nobody out there we can fucking support. In them, that's got traction. Every one of them come out and lied about Unit 4. And now we know what Unit 4 looks like. We know it's not a perfect building. We know that there's no fuel fucking rods there, no fuel pools fucking there. No reactor cores there. At what point are you going to make your stand? At what point are they going to say, okay, we, took, we went too fucking far. We're mass murderers. We caused the death of the Pacific. We caused the death of fucking millions of people just by not even warning them, by coming out and pretending they're going to get the fuel rods at a number four. See, that's one of the biggest fucking problems we got. We let the lying sacks of shit off with us. We allowed them, oh, well, you know, they do a lot of good. Whatever good they've done is garbage the minute that they pull a hoax like Unifor. And everyone I'm done it to us. Calicott was going to move her family where? Down to Australia. If number four tips over Suzuki says, Japan's gone bye-bye to the west coast of North America. Gunnison is like a crushed cigarette pack. Gunnison made the fucking fuel pools. The assemblies. He know fucking well there was nothing left there. Video after video after video where he come out and showed a beautiful building. No, I'm going to war against every one of you now. Every fucking one of you out there. I'm on my own. I get that. I'm on my own because I tell the fucking truth and I won't put up with a lie. My fifth cigarette in three days. Shut the fuck up. Five cigarettes in three days. It's pretty good. No intention of smoking one this morning or this evening either. I just want to get a few of these lawyers and fucking haul the hair out of their head. Big fucking bald patch. So every time I look in the mirror, they know why. They got that bald patch. Because Dana finally caught up to them and ripped the fucking chunk out of their head. Not that I'm strong enough to do that. Not that I'm healthy enough to do something like that. They can walk away and get away from me. I can't catch them. They don't need to run. I'm crippled. Lucky for them. <laughs> They're so lucky that I am crippled. Don't bother coming into my fucking province because I can fucking come and get you. With the bullhorn, I'll be outside yelling, this is a fucking lawyer in there. The whole time. Everybody going in there, I'll tell them what kind of lawyer you are. Gunderson shows up here, Calicott shows up here, any of the other fucking puke machine shows up. You will get yours. I will show up. And I will fucking chase you out of my province. You people are fucking scum. You won't come out and make a stand. You won't tell the fucking truth. I ain't got fucking time for you anymore. This planet ain't got time. We are out of time. We're five years down that time. No, but the puke machines are allowed to come out from TEFCO. And CBS. And PBS. No problem. And then the experts, the sweethearts, the Calicots, the Gundersons, the multi-millionaires. No, they got to get the, the fuel rods. And the right-hand side, not the left-hand side, Dana. Don't show them the stuff on the left-hand side in the center. Just show them the stuff on the right. Imagine if Gunderson come out and showed you that. We wouldn't have this fight now. We wouldn't be in this problem right now, would we? We wouldn't be having this fucking conversation this morning, would we? Who's going to hold Miles O'Brien accountable? Who's going to hold Seth Thorne accountable? Who's going to hold David Suzuki accountable? Who's going to hold Kathleen Higley accountable? Who? Gunderson? Caldecott? Are they going to fucking hold him accountable? Are you fucking stupid? Calicock got 29 years of doing nothing. Oh, Calicock closed down more plants than any other activists on the planet, Data. They were closing down anyway. <laughs> Fuck.
fucking idiots. Calicott told you the four was okay. Gunderson. Busby. Suzuki. None of them come here and told you, hey, wait a second, it looks like that, not like that. That's all he had to fucking do. We wouldn't be in the boat we're in right now. We're in the boat because we let these fuckers get away with it. We're in the boat because we won't make a stand. We're in this fucking boat because they put us in it. They were the ones that were supposed to inform us. They were the ones we supported. They were the ones we punched out. And they were the ones who stabbed us in the fucking back all the way through, took the money and ran away. I done the entire coastline on, on next to nothing when you think about how much money it really takes to do something like that properly. Still a fucking fortune. We had to do it the hardest way possible. We had to do it against all odds. We had to do it against vicious attacks and smears and slander that still hasn't stopped. And being ignored by the so-called experts. Who said, well, there's, I don't see any evidence out there. What the fuck do you call that up with the nuclear proctologist? The whole coastline is missing all the species. Yeah, but if someone goes down to the beach and, and with their Geiger counter and gets a number, it's national news. Dana shows you numbers that are extraordinary. Don't mean nothing. They're going to show you extinction of the coastline. Don't mean nothing. I need to do a 480 on YouTube. I'm going to do a 360. What a fucking world we live in. So maybe I'll do my live streams from now on at livestream.com again and then post 1080 up at YouTube. I just fucking close my YouTube down. I want the experts to come out and tell the fucking truth for a change. I want the experts to come out and apologize for what they fucking done. I want them to come out and ask for forgiveness for the lies they told. Because you ain't getting away with it no more. Everything that you put out from now on, all of you. I will rip your fucking life to shreds if I catch you lying anymore. There'll be no mercy on my end. And no fucking forgiveness for hair on out from any of you. It's war. You can take that to the fucking bank. That's war. I'm going to war against you people. Every fucking one of you out there now. One man show. That's what it takes. Because five years in the death of the Pacific, game, the time for fucking games and pretending and fucking apologizing are over. Time for action is right now. Time to get on with it is right now. Time to make a fucking stand is right now. Time to tell the truth is right now. Right fucking now. Today. You might think I'm kidding. You might think that this is going to blow over. Then it's going to calm down. You guess again. You fucking guess again. And if everybody wants to fucking go away and not support me, that's fine too. Because I am gone to battle. I am gone to war. And if you're not ready to go to war, you need to go away. If you're not ready to go to battle, you need to fucking go away. If you're not ready to make a fucking stand for what's right and moral and ethical, you need to go away. If you're not ready, you shouldn't be in the fucking fight. If you're not willing to put your support to the people that are actually fucking bringing the fight to them, and in the fight all the time, and is the number one producer of documentation and accurate information without the fucking nonsense, without the lies, without the cover ups, without the apologies. I'd give anything for somebody else to show up and fill up that position. I'd give anything, including everything I got, I'd give it to them. You know that's true. It's not a game. We are a fucking war with the disinformation machine, with the fucking system that is out there, has co-opted every aspect of our fucking institutions and academics and medias. It's called the atomic in industry. The, in the, the biggest lie and the biggest disgust, most disgusting, soulless, spineless, heartless people on the planet are pro-nuclear. Pro-nuclear means you're stupid as a fucking rock. Pro-nuclear means you're a moron. 
Pro-nuclear means you're a highly educated, mass murderer and sack of shit, and your day is coming. Your fucking free reign and your free fucking stranglehold on this planet is coming to an end. And it's going to be you on the receiving end. Even if I don't exist. Even if I never open my fucking mouth. That is true. 141 counts a minute. 150 counts a minute. Yummy. Germany only allows five Beckwells. I got 150. Right in my own fucking house. On the west coast of British Columbia, Canada. Right on the fucking ocean. No, dude, there's no elevator radiation, New Zealand. Somebody go with a $100 Geiger counter, and their word is gold. Dana with a fucking $1,200 Geiger counter. Dude, is a fucking liar. And the same handful of people over and 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 over since we've been at this. Just five or five or six people. Five or six bloggers doing this to us. Attacking every aspect of everything, everybody... With multiple ghost accounts. Stress. The death of the Pacific Ocean. How many documentations have I got to show anybody? How many times have you got to show Ernie Gunnarsson that? Huh? No, it's going to tip over. Davis is okay. The rest of them. No, they can't come out and tell you that, see? They gotta come out and lie to you constantly, endlessly, perpetually. No one died at Fukushima. No one died at Chernobyl. No one died there. No one died here. Just keep saying it over and over and saying, I'm a radiation expert. There's a hundred of us. That's what Kathleen Higley is saying right there. There's a hundred. You should trust, trust us. I can't wait for this planet to wake up and hang all these fucks in the streets. I can't wait for this planet to wake up and realize they ain't got no time left. I can't wait to see the panic and, the, and, and see the people going after the rich and the wealthy and fucking wrecking them. That's coming. You can't deny it. You can't get away from it. All the lies in the world ain't going to stop it. You can't change the dead of the Pacific Ocean. That's an extinction event for the entire planet. It's a slow kill, but it ain't that slow. All the weapons testing on the planet is nothing compared to a single reactor in Japan. Nothing. Jesus, Chernobyl was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs in 10 days. Right? The chain reaction happened to stop, allegedly. But it was equivalent to 400 Hiroshima bombs in 10 days. You got fucking four reactors in Japan. Four. Completely fucking meltdowns. What reactors on the roof that are missing? No, oh, Dana, they're right there, Dana. Yeah, they're right on the roof of that, are they? Oh, yeah, Dana Tepco's checking for Murons. Where's it tell? Removal right? of this Think about that. fuel is a crucial part of the plant's decommissioning, and a key requirement is to locate the debris. So the building don't exist. The reactor. There's no billing there. So far, many attempts have been made to understand... Even a fucking robot can't get in there. Right? A robot can't get in there. Robots can't get in there. No? Well, how the fuck does Seth Dorn get in there? Robots can't even get in there. Huh? Dipshits. Morons. Idiots. Oh, Dana, the robots. To go inside. They went into to a different part of the plant, Dana. Will use a technology that They're going to shoot murons. Wait for it. An image of the Here it comes. Interior. Through a building that don't even exist. Muons are They're going to find the fuel. This is Tepco's website seven months ago. Video of what they're going to do to find the melted fuel in a building that don't even freaking exist. In that building there. How the hell are you going to find something when they're building the... And here's Unit 3. How are they going to shoot something through the, the, the top floors of it that don't exist? How? There's nothing left there. I know it's hard to understand it that it blew up. No, Dana looks like that on the inside, Dana. Tepco wouldn't lie. Miles O'Brien wouldn't lie. 
How can you shoot that through a building that's not even there? How can you shoot that through that when it's not even fucking there? How are you going to find a fuel pull or a reactor core when the entire building is wrecked and torn apart and gone? Two-thirds of the reactor was above that. The fuel pools were six stories above that. They're all gone. They're completely gone. They detonated, caught fire and blew up and melted down. You can put these monkeys, these retards from... Monkeys are a much better species than these creatures on... And that's the press club sat there. Listen to this lie. Listen to the manipulation. Listen to the deception. And laughing and giggling. Anyway... It's going to get ugly from here on out. It's going to get nasty from here on out. Nobody's fucking safe. I can guarantee you. Gunnarsson got to go. Calicott got to fucking go. Those two minimum got to go. They're the worst thing ever happened to the nuclear industry. They're the worst thing ever happened to the nuclear movement. They're the worst fucking thing they ever put on the fucking planet. And they've done the most damage imaginable because everybody put their fucking fate in them. I disrespect them and you'll see that coming up. I got no more time for this. The extinction of the Pacific Ocean doesn't dictate me fucking putting on kids' gloves for known lawyers, and it won't be happening. My apologies for everybody, but that is reality. Hugs for everybody. I'll see you soon. Don't know if I'll be back tomorrow. If it is, it ain't going to be any fun for anybody, I can assure you. Take care, folks. Yeah. The, the point about all this is that it's much worse than you think. The, the real uh, exposures to people um, started with the weapons, with the nuclear weapons testing. And that caused an increase in cancer of at least 30% in most countries. And we can show that this is a, a value of about 60 million people who, who will develop cancer as a result of this. The fertility in the world is reducing. The levels of congenital malformation are increasing. And uh, Madame Vivassi says that we should do all these things to, um, to try and stop this from happening because we have a critical situation for life on Earth. There is no question. But the, we're not, we cannot expect these people who we are talking about, the WHO and the IAEA and the Article 35 group and all of these people in power, we cannot expect them to do something because we asked them to. There seems to be an absolute glass barrier between what the people want and what gets done. It, it's an impossible situation because we are living through the worst public health scandal of history, of the history of life on this earth and yet nothing seems to be possible to do. Well, let me make some suggestions. I'm going to talk soon, and I won't go on and hold the microphone, so don't. But what I do say is this. That there are two things that are needed, absolutely, essentially. And one, one is that there has to be funding for independent research, because there is no independent research. And the people who are independent researchers, like my colleague Yuri Bandashevsky, like me, like the other people who work, and there are very few of these people, they work for virtually nothing, and it gets very difficult to function. They cannot me obtain equipment, they cannot, cannot measure things. And it is a, on these people that the future of this planet and life on it, survive, survival on it, depends. And they do not have funding to, to get younger people, to teach these younger people how to do the studies that are necessary to do, because we are all getting old, you know, and we can't live, we're not going to live forever. And maybe we'll just get bored with it all and go fishing. But I have to say that something has to be done along those lines. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing that we can do is we can use the law. Now, I, as an expert witness, I've won maybe more than 20 cases in, in, in seriously big cases, millions and millions of dollars of damages. I've won using the ECRR risk model and using the arguments that we've heard here today. But these these court cases never get out into the media because they're always settled. 
as soon as the companies know, or the nuclear industry know that they're going to lose, they settle the case by writing a big fat check. But we can take court cases through, through human rights um, legislation, through international human rights legislation, and through the legislation that's implicit in URATA. And when I give a talk later, I'm just taking a bit of time, I will talk about that some more. But I have to impress upon you, it is extremely serious. It is not, it's not something that we can afford to ignore. Thank you.